Hi! In this video I'm going to be hooking up an Xbox 360 controller uh, to the mill. Well, not directly to the mill, but to the computer, but it will control the mill. Um, Alright! Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to the uh, Mach 3 homepage, Artsoft, and uh, go to Software and Downloads. And then go down to Download Plugins. And go all the way down to the bottom and find Xbox 360 Controller. And then Download. Uh, and keep. Okay, so that is now in our uh, Downloads folder. Um, so we can get that when we go to put it in. All right. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the start, go to computer, and we're going to go to downloads or wherever else you had saved it to, depending upon the operating system. And right here is the Xbox 360 controller file that was downloaded. Going to uh, Control C for copy or Control X. Um, and then we're going to go to Windows, to, to the hard drive it's on, find the Mach 3 folder, uh, find the plugins folder, open that. And once in here, and then we'll go Control V to paste it in there. And we now have this controller or this file that's needed uh, for the Xbox 360. All right. Okay. So the next thing we will do is get the uh, DirectX uh, web installer. Um, I'll just open up a new tab and just, uh, just type DirectX and. DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer, right there, will take me to the uh, Microsoft, and we will click uh, Download. And uh, we don't need any of that, so no thank you and continue. Okay, it didn't happen, so after 30 seconds, click here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's uh, down here, downloaded, so I will uh, double click that and click uh, yes. I accept the agreement, next, and uh, we don't need the Bing bars, uh, I don't need it, uh, click uh, next, and uh, it's now installing the components. Okay, next. Alright, it's downloading the components from the web. Uh, while we're waiting for that to download, I'll actually uh, uh, say the, the information that I got for uh, connecting the uh, Xbox 360 controller and for doing all this, I actually got from uh, a YouTube video from uh, Guru Brew. Uh, so if you want to go out and over and check out his uh, YouTube channel, uh, I just kind of like to 
give a shout out to another YouTuber or someone else who gave me the information to uh, to do what I'm doing. So, uh, you, Guru Brew's got some really uh, great videos. Okay, installation complete, finish. And I guess I can close that. And close that too, close the whole thing. All right. On to the next step. Okay, well the next step is to uh, to plug it in. I will... Uh, Grab my uh, Xbox 360 controller and uh, plug it into a USB port in the back. Okay, and if you can see there, uh, it's saying it is installing the device driver for the software. Okay, now we're gonna go back to. Uh, my computer and uh, go to C, go to Mach 3, go to plugins and then double click on that. Okay, now we're going to go into uh, Mach 3, go into configure. Configure plugins, and we have the Xbox 360 controller right here, and we're gonna check that and configure it. And here's where we uh, set what all the buttons do. Okay, well I got my uh, Xbox controller working. Uh, it turns out that uh, there were like 122 updates that were required. I don't have internet, so I took it in and. Uh, got all the updates. It's a used computer, uh, off lease. Um, so I got the, I got all the updates done. Um, reloaded. Actually, my son reloaded the uh, uh, the driver for this, uh, and started. He started playing uh, video games on my computer. <laughs> um, so all right. Well, you can see it's uh, working here. Um, so obviously this button is controlling the, uh, the X and also the Y and this one right here is controlling the Z um, you actually go left and right to do that I would think it would actually be up and down to do that so I'll see if I can change that in there but uh, um, maybe I'll go over the settings some more so all right. Okay, so the uh, I'm gonna go over the I'm gonna go over the settings for the controller a little further. Uh, so it was configure, configure plugins uh, over here where it says Xbox 360 configure. Um, so we've got the uh, the left stick, which is over here. Um, the uh, from uh, side to side is X, which is what we want. Uh, over here, the uh, the Y is up and down, which is what I want. And over here is uh, let's see, where is that? Over here, uh, the right stick uh, from side. Actually, I changed this. This said uh, Z, and down here it said A. So I actually changed this from a Z to none and change this one down here to Z so when I go up and down here uh, that goes up and down there that just seems to make sense to me and uh, the other one is um, I'm going to be using A for the, uh, the jog type either be continuous or step so over here I uh, change this to jog mode INC incremental or continuous so I changed that and uh, of course there's some other options you can set in here for all these other buttons on the controller 
Uh, but I'm just going to do that for now because that's what I need. Uh, but, you know, you can go through and, you know, have these buttons do whatever you want. But uh, uh, click OK and OK. Basically, what this is going to enable me to do is, let me put it on the side here. Um, say I'm wanting to move a tool into position, um, either to, uh, to cut or to uh, uh, set Z0 or anything like that. Um, I can, like, right now, it's, say it's too, uh, too low. I can just uh, use this. Oh, I have an incremental mode. I raise it up. I see a little better. And uh, then I can uh, say I want to move it over this way. I can move it over this way. And I want to move it back a little. And then say I want to come down on it. I can bring it down. And say I want to get, I'm really close to it. I can just hit the A, and I can go, you can hear it, it's just jogging like one thou at a time. And you can go down and then touch off, and then set zero. Um, so this is very handy, uh, otherwise you'd have to be over here going back and forth like this. Uh, with this you can just do it right here. So very handy if you don't have this already. Uh, I would. Definitely recommend getting it. Uh, relatively easy to uh, set up, uh, as long as you have your updates done, of course. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it. One other thing I wanted to uh, also uh, point out is um, if this, I don't know, different controllers may be different, but there's a green light right there. If that green light is not lit, then you may have some trouble with the uh, the driver or something. Basically, uh, the the um, what is it called? The ActiveX. Anyways, it's not working properly. It's not configured properly. So uh, if that's not working, you're gonna have to uh, do something with that. All right.